Let's talk about someone who is, no, she's not a reality television. She's the real deal. Lady Gaga uh, is up for, not. she's nominated for yeah. Emmys, six Emmys. Want to talk about it? Which is not surprising. Uh, Lady Gaga, in case you missed last year's Super Bowl performance. Look at her. She had a great show. Uh, it started off her jumping off the top of the roof. <laughs> but she's nominated for Oscars. Yeah, uh, that was good. The Tony Awards. Hairspray Live. Uh, she's also nominated for Outstanding mm -hmm. Special Class Program and, and many others. I'm just trying to pull my uh, script up because the, my computer is Yeah, it was in slow. visual effects. But it was, it, sound was, it was a great show, and I can honestly see why. And it's not uncommon for... Um, for um, Halftime for halftime shows to get nominations. Again, outstanding production uh, design for variety nonfiction event or award special, outstanding lighting and designing, uh, outstanding sound it mixing, so outstanding technical direction. Yeah. So again, I believe Beyonce got nominated, if I'm not mistaken, Bruno Mars did. If he, I'm not sure, 100% sure, Oscars. So, and Lady Gaga, just she's just, she's an overall artist. She's an artist. So for her to get this, I wouldn't, I'm not surprised, and I wouldn't be surprised. She'll take home, if she I mean, if not half. Something. Yeah, she has to take home something, because that was a great performance, and usually it's so like, oh gosh, that sucked, or half of America hated it. But I felt like with this one, for the most part, people were entertained. You, and even if you weren't entertained you by the, the music and you don't like her songs visually, and technically, yeah. when you think about everything that has to come together to put a Super Bowl performance in place and to pull it off, yeah, that's a lot of hands on deck. So, as technically, even if you don't like her her artistry, technically that show was very well put together. Yes, and in one article, and I don't know if you have my tablet isn't working yet, but our um, tablets, man, tablets. Okay, so I believe <laughs> from what I read, it you the crew has to be able to set everything up okay. in seven minutes mm -hmm. the performance 12 and then they have to shut everything down in seven minutes and get off the field so that the game can can continue right so they look for a certain kind mm -hmm. of performer you have to be top tier you, gotta you bring have it. to be the michael jackson's the bruno mars the uh, beyonce you have to be the lady gaga and so there was rumors recently that this upcoming year for super bowl this next january in 2018 it was, it's going to be Britney Spears. That was the rumor for a lot of weeks. They came out and debunked that rumor. But you know what I've been noticing in the last couple of years? Britney has always been looped in. Remember when Katy Perry, we heard Katy Perry was going to be doing it, and they said with a special performance, the throwback performance. Everybody was like, and Britney then, Spears? Right. And it was Missy Elliott. So mm -hmm. people um, want they want, still. And it's, it's about time because uh, last year we had, um, this past year with Lady Gaga, before that we had the Bruno Mars, Beyonce, Coldplay medley. Then mm -hmm. before that we had, um, I believe it was, uh, Beyonce and then Bruno Mars again in the past we had Black Eyed Peas Madonna did it uh, when you're you two I, I think you're just starting to run out of people because when you think about the top level artists I'm talking about uh, top award winning top of the, the billboard charts can sell out arenas can can keep someone's attention during the biggest sporting event of the year mm -hmm. it has to be someone who could carry that weight mm -hmm. not just um, the pressure of it, but can pull off a performance that you want to see for, mm -hmm. you know, during that sporting event, men, women, and children. So mm -hmm. now who's left? When you think about concerts, who's selling out concerts, who's really left mm -hmm. unless you keep reaching back and having like the Rolling Stones do it, or like mm -hmm. if you keep doing throwbacks, but new groups. artists, we're starting to run out. Yeah. If you guys know of any artists that you would like to do Super Bowl performances, like I yeah, did, chime in. Chime in because in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, we had Beyonce, we had Bruno Mars, Black Eyed Peas did it. Um, the only people left would be like the Britneys because yeah. she hasn't done it or you know I don't see I don't why know. why not Britney? I'm wondering is this coming from her camp or is this coming from the Super Bowl? Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, we're getting word. She asked in and Super Bowl said no. Whoa! Dang! And listen, Dang. this is the time for Britney because she, I believe, is wrapping up now. I'm kind of out of my Vegas, my Vegas loop. I haven't really looked into it. But when I was there at Planet Hollywood, they had Britney Spears, uh, Jennifer Lopez, Lionel Richie, all rotating different weekends. Britney Spears has had her Piece of Me tour there for a couple of years now. She's renewed over the course yeah. of time, but I remember going to the opening night of her, of her not even a tour, of her residency, and she was about a, 
a second off mm. in, in the routine. You know, she was a little rusty. Mm -hmm. It was like, uh oh, this is going to be a long time. The baby's <laughs> going to be show. here for the residency. And then she really picked it up. And then all of a sudden, you see her all over social media getting very fit and getting her, I don't know, just her whole look st started to change. And now she's at the back at the top of her game, I feel. And it's like, if you don't get the gig now are you ever going to get it because the, she's known for those moves look at her the head flips the turns and like yeah, you can't be doing that forever and now throwback is really in, really in season right, back to the back 90s Street boys are on tour new kids on the block is on tour tlc um mm -hmm. you have new edition uh, really riding the wave after the bio biopic that came out on bet so right. the whole throwback idea is really now back and people yeah. want that 90s early 2000s feel and again instead of recycling artists you kind of have to start dipping into so then, the, that pool can you can they and, and it has to be a big performance because like I was talking to Megan sorry to cut you off Megan no no but you should. when we were at the at our desk researching this didn't really start until around 19, 1992 with the halftime performances being a big thing with Gloria right. Estefan and then the year after Michael Jackson kicked it off and that's when we saw the wow. big artists before that there were marching bands regular old performances and nothing jazzy uh, right sponsors like Pepsi right. this next year was saying, hey, you know what, uh, we can make some moolah by mm -hmm. doing this. And remember there was that whole controversy too, should these performers actually pay Pepsi, pay the Super Bowl to perform? Because when they get that audience, it's gonna do wonders for their mm -hmm. Um, for their their tours, I know was it who who announced their tour? Was it Beyonce that announced her tour after her performance? That, that's pretty standard, right? After it, because you know you're the, captivating. If you if people love what you're doing on that night, they go, dang, you know what? It would be so cool to see them in concert. Mm -hmm. Boom! All of a sudden, like they're Mrs. On Carter, tour. the Mrs. Carter Show uh, tour, <laughs> right. and everybody was like, "Ooh, I'm going to Mrs. Carter Show!" Because uh -huh. it was a thing. Producer Billy just chimed in and said, "In 2001, oh yeah, Britney Spears was featured. That year was Aerosmith, In Sync, Britney Spears, Mary J. Blige, and." Nelly, 2001. She's never had. She's never headlined her, her herself. What? So Sucks. we've seen her, but it, I think again. Um, Do you think Britney could captivate uh, an audience yes. this year? The minute men, you, women, and children. The minute you hear, dur, 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 everybody's gonna be like, ah! Exactly. It doesn't matter oh, who baby, you are. Even baby. if you don't like uh -huh. the song, it takes you back in time. It yep. takes you back to your first high school oh, job, a little emotional where right you now. were yes. when that when you heard that song, the choreography, the red leather, the shiny red le yes, plastic with pants, the black, yes. So in the schoolgirl outfit. So even if you're not on board with it, yes. hearing nur, 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 you're like ah. even someone like Kylie Jenner who. Well, that would be, Kylie Jenner's a little young, right, for Britney Spears to be, like, when she was at the height of her, like, high school Kylie's years. Kylie's, like, five. Kylie, yeah. <laughs> no, Kylie Jenner's five. No, but even Kylie, now, and I bring it up because recently it was the whole Christina Aguilera, Britney Spears, remember when they were just both so popular in mm -hmm. their time? Kylie, even that generation, has mad respect for those artists because it was during Halloween where she dressed up as her, what she put yeah. as her idol, and it was the whole Christina Aguilera get up, the black and the yellow mm -hmm. outfit. So their music and I guess what they represent, the nostalgia behind them, and stands the test or stands the test of time. It stands the test of time, but in it, if for people or kids who don't know, because I remember when Missy was on stage with Katy oh. Perry, a lot of kids were tweeting, oh, Who's this lady this? is good. We should give her a record deal. Come on. Uh, she's been out for years Isn't and she was friend? one of the top yep. producers in the business at one point. So uh -oh. I think with Britney and any artist, this gives you that extra surge. Mm -hmm. So. I don't see anything, I don't see why they wouldn't have her do it, and I'm interested, interested to see who will do it because they have been recycling performances. So right. I guess we should name, if you think about it, well, who not has Mariah headlined Carey. Coachella, who has headlined the big festivals, and then just pull from that and expect them you know, to do it. I've been hearing a lot about Lionel Richie lately. You know, he had, listen, <laughs> he has his concert at Planet Hollywood. Wait, which one is it? Lionel Richie. I'm saying he has his concert at um, Planet Hollywood right. and he's going on tour with Mariah Carey now. Okay. And he, obviously, the older generation, that's memories there. This newer generation, I don't know as much, but I... Lionel's classic. See, mm. when people like that, Prince pulled it off. Prince had one of the best, best halftime shows, in my opinion, ever. When he Better was than raining. Michael? 
I know. I will put them the same. And I, I would say no because Michael's was so, at the time, that was the first big performance. It was yeah. 93. Like, like I said, That's before 92, iconic. it was like glory. And then he had the fake Michael's jumping off the top of the Rose Bowl. And then he popped the up from the stage ones. and stood there for like a minute <gasps> and standing still. That yep. You can't replace that because that was one of the first of its kind. Mm -hmm. Prince was iconic because it was the raining and purple rain. Uh, when he was performing that, the rain was coming down. And he had his headscarf on. He had the, the heels on because, you know, Prince always wore the yes, high heels. shoes. so sexy. So I, I wouldn't compare the two. So I think Lionel couldn't pull it off. We'll see, though. Um, I don't, who you do know. you think? Who do, who do you throw I, in the I in can't the see any there. popular artist right now that's on top of their game that I would think was a shoe in. I think it would have to be a mixture. Jay-Z has never done it. I, there has never been a full rap set at Could the he? Super Bowl. 444 is out right now. Did Al producer Billy say Outkast? If Outkast was there, they never did it a full. They never headlined, headlined and did it on their own. So if, but again, Football art audience is traditionally more leaning more towards the country music sector. So maybe they can mm. have like a, a Toby Keith or a Carrie Underwood, Faith Hill medley, Keith Urban. Maybe mm -hmm. they do that. I can see that happening. I can see a country music uh, take wave over. and take over and then mix it with rock. Maybe get like um, bring the Chili Peppers back. Something like that. Oh, Red Hot Chili so Peppers. Do like a rock country collabo. Okay. We'll stick around and see what they say, what Pepsi comes up with.